For many, it's an easy choice to make, but there are some who believe if they say yes to organ donation, doctors won't try as hard to save them. We are busting that myth in tonight's Gift of Hope. Last week, you met Brett and Nikki Michaelis. Their five-month-old son died from sudden infant death syndrome. Together, they made the decision to save others by donating his organs. But Brett told me when he was a teen, he and his siblings said no to being organ donors. Because it was, it was half in jest and half not. We talked about being in an accident on the road and having the paramedics come and see that you know, we could save him, but he's marked as an organ donor. So maybe we don't save him and we save a bunch of other lives with his. It, we joked about it, but at the same time, it was a question. Dr. Sean Smith is a neurointensivist at Intermountain Medical Center. He cares for critically ill patients with brain and spinal cord injuries. First of all, n with every patient across the board that comes in, you know, we do everything that we can to save their lives no matter what. Dr. Smith adds he and his staff don't even know if a patient is an organ donor when they're admitted. And this is true for hospitals across the country is to do everything that we can and then once a patient has passed away that's really when the process of organ donation starts. Before the organ donation team even gets involved, Dr. Smith tells me it's his job to determine if a patient is brain dead. There's a definitive test called the apnea test. It will reveal if there's blood flow in the brain stem and throughout the brain. So in a patient who is brain dead, we see no blood flowing into the, into the brain. In fact, if there is blood present, then that rules out brain death. Brett says even after he and his wife made the decision to donate their son's organs, the donation team made sure there was no pressure placed on them to do so. From the very beginning we said if it comes to that, we do want to donate his organs. <laughs> and they were very uh, almost forceful saying, are you sure that's what you want to do? To become an organ donor, all you need to do is say yes on your driver's license or your state ID card, or go online and sign up at www.yesutah.org. It's also a good idea to let your family know of your decision so your wishes can be carried out. Hope Woodside, Fox 13 News, Utah.